Hi, it's John here from Meridian. Uh, we're here in the Czech Republic again. Uh, it's a lovely, beautiful day. And this morning, we're going to be weighing an Alstom M7 using our Waywell PTW train weighing equipment that you can see set up behind me. Uh, so I'm just going to go through how we weigh a train. Okay, so here comes our train. Uh, basically what we do, uh, we use a logo to push, uh, push the unit over the load cells we've got set up here. And what we do, we stop the train when the wheels are centered on the load cells. That's in turn linked to our laptop here, uh, which we'll use to generate the report and validate the weight of the unit. So we've weighed the train twice now. We weighed it once coming in and once again going out. Um, I know you can't see the figures because I've blurred them out because of uh, commercial sensitivity. Um, but the Waywell system generates a nice uh, PDF report for us like this. Um, so all that's left for us to do now is uh, remove the kit and put it away. Okay, so I'm back at the apartment now in Prague and I just want to uh, basically make a quick follow on to the video. Uh, and explain why we were only weighing a single axle at a time as opposed to the full the full vehicle in one hit. So Meridian do have, you know, we've got eight load cells. We could weigh all four axles at the same time. However, as we're just validating the mass of the vehicle, um, having just loaded the vehicle to VCE or exceptional load condition, um, as long as the balance is within 5% wheel to wheel, uh, that's, that, that's acceptable. If... For example, it was a, a first-in-class test or we were um, specifically asked to balance the vehicle, then we would be weighing all four axles at the same time uh, and we'd be able to pinpoint exactly where the vehicle, well, if, if the vehicle was out of balance, we'd be able to pinpoint exactly where um, potentially we could move some ballast around inside uh, and bring the vehicle within balance. 